All right, we're here at the Steelers draft day. We're in this um, line about to do some type of obstacle catch. I got my man Eli. What are you about to do? What do you think you're going to do? I'm about to do a one-handed catch on this um, crazy obstacle. I'm not that good. But I'll do it better I than have you. someone That's else over here. I have That's Neil. What is it? Neil? That's all me. I'll do a one-handed catch. Okay, one-handed catches. Is. We'll see Who does what it awaits us. So you saw no, what, ha what happened? No, no, no. I, we're running it back. We're going around to. What happened? I told him to throw it over. You missed it. I told him to throw it over. Okay, I caught it with this part. That's not how you catch a football. Okay. Does okay. that sound like Neil? Does that sound like an excuse? Yeah. Sounds like an excuse. It what are you? We running that back. Oh. Hey, that was my man Eli and Neil. Um, I got the opportunity to take them to the Steelers draft day party, where um, you get to go to Heinz Field and just kind of walk the field and do different obstacles it was really fun the person talking the most trash is my man Eli um, his brother is Isaiah I ran um, coached him with cross country and track you'll see him uh, a little later in this video as well but I met him and it's just been great meeting up with him and just kind of hanging out uh, with that being said I figured that's a great way to start this video as you can see I've changed up the scenery um, I am NOT in Pittsburgh I'm actually in Narstown where I was born and raised I'm here for a wedding um, but once again, we got some stuff to cover, so let's get to it. For those of you who are new to this vlog or video update, my name is Sly. I am an area director in Pittsburgh on the east side. And uh, yeah, I do these monthly updates to kind of go over and also show you guys what I do on a month-to-month on a -month basis, like what it looks like, everything from meeting people to students to just my in and outs in my everyday life. So uh, I decided to do this uh, back in August when I moved here in P to Pittsburgh with my lovely wife, Amy. You'll, if you don't see her in this video, you'll see her as time goes on. She's smoking hot and you'll actually catch that I say that a lot about her because it's true. Um, with that being said, like we're going to go ahead and get, get moving. Uh, check out this next update. I'm here at this beautiful cabin for lake house meeting or cabin meeting where Metro staff comes together and we look at last year and things that we thought were great, what worked and what we might want to change or implement. And look at this, this beautiful squad over here. About to partake in some breakfast and then get to the day. All right, we got to get back to it. Let's have some fun. We're at the back end of the school year. There's about probably like two more official weeks or mid-June is when high school actually get out. Unfortunately, I will be heading up to the champion to start my assignment, but uh, Young Life College, once again, you know, the last video I sent out or update I sent out was telling you guys about finals and how that was ending. So that came to a sweet end. So students are now relaxing, they're breathing, they're getting ready for the new year. Uh, my three leaders, uh, Sarah, Spence, and Becca, um, I had the opportunity to take a little break, but they'll be getting ready uh, to head to summer staff with well, two out of my three. So Sarah will be going to champion to do summer staff. And so she'll be in the same, be on the same assignment as myself. Uh, Becca will be going to Saranac, which is another camp in New York. And she'll be out there doing some awesome things. And then Spence is going to be hanging out in Hershey. He's going to be doing, he's going to be dancing, of course, but also learning more about himself and just learning a guy. He just absorbs, he, he takes in wisdom and experience and he just takes it in. So I'm ex so excited for them to really just kind of step out and you know kind of engage in other things and then come back and kind of take bring their creativity and their experiences and get ready for this new year that we're going to walk into um but back to high school uh like i said two more weeks but it was a great a great way to end on my behalf you know before i left out to go to champion so i had boys over and just that culture that i've been talking about for the last 10 months is actually starting to come to fruition boys are not coming over to the house we're talking more about Jesus on a, just an open and just in a, in a free space. And uh, yeah, they're, they're getting to know me, but really their parents are getting to know me, which is great because that's the credibility that I really want. I mean, of course with the kids, but a lot of these kids, like they want to hang out and then their parents are like, wait a minute, like who the heck are you? And, that, and that's, a valid, that's a, a valid concern or a valid question to raise up is who are you? And so now they're realizing like, oh, like you're so much more than just a coach or a guy that just wants to hang around. Like you care and you, you want to create a culture of, of, or a space where kids can just be themselves and talk about Jesus in an in a open space and in a secure space too. So that's been great. Um, actually, I have a little video to show you. So 
check this out. I'm here with my man Nico, my man Money Mason. He got shot put over here. We got yeah. we got a long distance. They just came in city championships. How are you guys feeling? I'm feeling great. Yeah? yeah. What, what do you got to work on next year? What do you feel like you got to work on? Uh, probably just getting more consistent reps in. Come on. Just, you know, just getting to push more. Um, That's what I'm talking air. about. Yeah. Money Mason, what about you? How you feeling first and foremost? Um, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. Yeah. You know, through all the adversity, and I doubted myself a lot. But at the end, it was do or die. Come on. And what do you feel like you need to work on next year? Uh, I feel going like forward. next year, going forward, I just got to... I just gotta practice and keep that in my mind, you know, study it, make it a habit, make it a lifestyle, so that, you know, when I go out there, it's nothing. I love it. My man Nico Money Mason holding it down, city championships. All right, I'm here with my man Isaiah White at the city ch track and field championships. He's coming in with, we got, can you, can you explain your medals today? Uh, we got two golds, one silver, one gold in the mile with a 443. Come on. And then we got the, Gold in the 800. Come on. Or a 208. I could have did better, but like I was just too sore. I didn't even get to sit down. I don't know. That, it's all good. I didn't get to. Did. He did an amazing job. What are you looking forward to? What are you looking forward to next year? First, I'm going to States next year. Come on. Did you hear that? We're going to States next year. You I can guarantee all that. Oh, that's a, you hear that? That's a promise. Come and back I, and check this out. And I don't, I don't break promises. You don't that's break promises. Do. You got anything to say, Amy? That's a, that's Good job, promise. Isaiah. Good job, Isaiah. My man Ben, senior at Track and Field City Championships. How are you feeling today? You know, it hurt, you know, but we pushed we through. We got it, you know, it doesn't kill you, makes you stronger. Come on. All the above, you know. Just keep pushing it. This is what this is life is all about, you know, just taking the bruises. What's next steps of life look like for you, Ben? Next steps of life. Probably taking a gap year, trying to go to Northwestern, hey. hey. try out for track. Who knows? I mean, they're in the Big Ten, so I'm not going to make the team, but it's cool. Make the team. <laughs> you know? Julie, how you feeling over here? I'm feeling great. How many letters you got over here? You got what? Eight, nine? How you got? Eight, nine. <laughs> you got three? Yeah. Feeling got, good? Two more years, I'll have like ten. Hey, ten that's goals. what I'm talking about. Yeah. We're speaking things into fruition around here. Deja over here. We got Lacey over here. Come on, we got city champions all over the place. Come on, Come on, here we go. Huh? The track bros, you already right know. This your last year? Yeah. I'm gonna try to go. How about that? City champions. What a great year. I mean, everything from cross country to meeting these kids to now track and just the excitement they have. We're a young team. Um, so we got a couple, two to three more years of the same runners that are just gonna get stronger and faster. And uh, they love it. And it's been great to just be around them and just learn so much from them as well. I didn't have that much experience as far as in and track i was a bit of a, a chubby guy in uh middle school high school and you know we'll keep it there but overall it's been great to just be at, be able to get out there and run with them and just support them really overall encourage them and learn so much and so as i come back from assignment i'll be able to kind of jump right back into it we're going to get some morning workouts in there's a couple guys that already want to get out there and just start running my hope is and this is something that you know you can kind of keep in your prayers or just in your thoughts is I'm trying to team up with the, the track coach at Pitt to hopefully get some freshman, sophomore runners to come down and really pace the, the junior, senior runners at Older Dice to really allow them to start realizing like, okay, what is the mindset? What is the mentality of a collegiate runner? What is the pace that I need to be running at? Um, and so they don't get so stuck in like, oh, I'm a city champion but to continue to pursue themselves and push themselves. So I'm really excited about that and that's been great. But salute to Tell Order Dice um, 2019 uh, Track Championships. Uh, appreciate you guys. Excited for next year. Looking forward to it. And I just wanted to say thank you. There was, there was something. All right, I'm hanging out at Obama High School. It is honor night. I'm here with Jenna and my man Sam. He's he's really there. Sam and Pastor Rob. That's so, right. So Obama High School is actually Baby representing the representing. When Renaissance Church and Pastor Rob. What do you, what do you, how do you feel about that, Pastor Rob? Humble. He's such a. He has so many more words, but we got to get back to this this event. So I'll talk to you later. Peace. Oh yeah, that's right. Honor night. So the church that I gather with, Renaissance. Salute to Pastor Rob, Pastor Jesse. Uh, you guys are amazing. Uh, we're honored by Obama High School, which is a school in my area that I know students of, or I know students, but I don't necessarily have a presence there. Like I'm not doing a lot of contact work. I'm not walking into the school and, and knowing and teachers, but that is on my radar. I plan on being there hopefully this year, if not definitely next year, or that's the hope, but really want to build up a, a some good momentum at Older Dice. So that's the hope. Now, needless to say, they were honored, and so 
one member of the church was honored for her. She counsels or does counseling at Obama, and Pastor Rob and the church were honored for their service um, of giving or providing uh, reams of paper, uh, Kleenex, markers, crayons for students um, throughout the year. And so they've been doing that on a monthly basis, and so they were appreciated. They were um, highlighted for doing that. And so it was just great to be there and just to kind of support Pastor Rob and also uh, Miss Jenna, who helps with counseling at at um, Obama. Yeah, but there's still just a little bit more. As I mentioned earlier in this video, um, I'm now in Narstown. I'm getting ready for a wedding in Philadelphia, but I just came back from Lake Champion. I had a great time out there. The reason we were up there was for Leader Weekend, and I had the opportunity to do programs. So check this out. out. Hey, I mean, we'll hear you out, man. Well, I, mean, over the, okay. I guess I'll okay. Do you see the lake outside? Yes. I said, we're thinking about this. Check this out. We're going to take all the water out of it. We're going to fill it with jello pudding, right? Check this out. It's an awful idea. Once, once you pop, the fun don't stop. That's the Pringles tagline. That's what you That's what you Okay, okay, okay. So you don't like that one. Okay. I got, I got another one. Check. But he's telling about this one. We're all trying to streamline, save money. What a great time we had. Um, Leader Weekend was an opportunity for all leaders uh, from New York, from PA, from New Jersey to come together and just be encouraged. You know, this there's, there's definitely moments, there's definitely rhythms of life that we go through where we feel defeated or discouraged or no offense, we, we perhaps play the, the comparison game and we see one area that's thriving and our area feels like we're, we're just not, there's no momentum being built up or nothing. But it was an opportunity for all of us to come together and just be encouraged by some great speakers and also realize like, hey, like, you know, you might be in a year where there, to you there, there might be nothing to show, but there's so much more out there and to continue to jostle through, continue to play the long game. And overall, realize that every second, every moment that you dedicate to that student or to that area or to that parent, um, it really will pay off. It really will be worthwhile. So it was a great opportunity. Plus, we got to hang out at Champion and just just kind of be like big kids uh, when we weren't like learning. And, you know, we, didn't, we, we definitely made time for that. Um, so it was fun. We had a great time, and I know Amy. She had the opportunity to actually see Champion for the first time, and just be out there and kind of get a sweet taste of or a tease of, of what what awaits her. And so being out there for a whole month to come is going to be awesome. So I'm excited for her as well. Um, I think that her talents will definitely be used. I know she'll be have the opportunity to kind of lay out beside the pool, but I definitely think she'll she'll kind of step in and uh, help out a ton during assignment. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, birds are chirping, the sun is out. Um, you might have heard them cutting grass and it's, it's summer's here and it's coming and it's, there's no stopping it. And so I'm excited to be here before going to Champion. Prayers you can be lifting up or just, like I said, keep in mind. One, we're, we're heading to Champion right after this wedding tonight. Uh, so by the time you see this video, it will be officially June. And so we'll be at Champion. So be praying for us, not only for, for myself or for Amy, but everyone that is going to be there everyone from program team to summer staff to the work crew um, to the students uh, that will be coming into camp for the whole month actually the entire summer be praying for them that they have a great time um, that we feel supported as a team i'll definitely be giving you an update with my team that i'll have but all, all i can tell you as of right now that i have four people and that's all i'm going to give you as of right now but be praying for them that they have a great experience that in those moments where they feel tired they feel like um, they're not they're not worth it or it's not worth it anymore that they remind themselves of the people that came before them and that served them at camp as well um, you can be lifting up Amy and I that we just have a great time at assignment but even after that our summer as well that we just do a, a great amount of content work but we also step away that we take a little breather that we go see family that we just rest a little bit that we rest in God um, that is super important for us and uh, we, we realize that so we want to go full throttle right now and you know have those still moments too but especially once assignment's done that we take a couple days to just relax a little bit and then get back to it that our summer is great um let's see what else can oh so we know the date for our banquet hey so uh we'll be sending those out and so just be praying for that 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 goes well that the people that we asked to be there to kind of make it a little bit more fun i got a bug on my neck need to say um, that we yeah that that comes together uh, Amy is gonna be helping plan that she got a crew to make that all come together so I'm excited you praying for my committee they have been stepping in stepping up really um, catching the vision of what we've been doing so it's been great to just walk with them 
and uh, just see them uh, just own it a lot more. So I'm thankful for them. I'm appreciative for them. Uh, let's see, what else? Is there anything else? I mean, just my well-being, my health, that, you know, uh, I realize and I'm mindful that I'm not Superman and that I need to take time, I need to take breaks. And, um, yeah, I don't get too ahead of myself. Um, hmm, is there anything else? Oh, yeah, don't forget your love, your value. If you didn't hear from anyone else here from me, you are love, you are value, you have purpose. I'm going to get out of here. Look at this beautiful day. I mean, if you can look at the scenery, I know there's a grill behind me, but, I, I mean, look at this. This is just beauty right here and so enjoy it step out you know even if you don't like being outside just step out a little bit step out of your comfort zone i challenge you to do that do something that you don't usually do and uh mark it up and to glorify god in that too all right i'm out we got so much to do i can't wait to give you the next update we're out of here peace